What's up guys, Alman13 here and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Leaf Green version. Last episode we left off outside of Rock Tunnel, so you may be a little confused as to why we're in front of a gym. Right now we are in Celadon City, and we are about to take on Erica, because I remembered that you can't go into Lavender Tower without the Sylph Scope, which you don't get until you take on the Team Rocket Base, which is in Celadon City, but I figured first let's take on another gym and get our fourth gym badge. Right now I have Cass up front, so let's just see how this goes. It shouldn't be difficult at all. I'm, we have Cass and we have Butch, so this gym should be a sweep. Um, off screen, I did some trainer battles uh, outside of Rock Tunnel and on route whatever that's uh, west of Lavender Town. So Cass is up to level 29. Uh, Butch is up to level 25, I believe, and Bruce is at level 27. So maybe while we're taking on the rocket base here, uh, later, we'll be able to get Butch to evolve, which would be awesome for us, because, I mean, he would just get a huge stab boost, so. Hopefully this will go over well. Cass has had two one-hit KOs so far. Uh, hopefully she'll be doing all right. Level 30, sweet. Oh, uh, here we go. Goodness gracious. Ah. It is really cold in my house right now, guys. Oh my goodness. I wish I was right there with Cass. She could be using that ember to start a fire and we could sit in front of it and be warm. Right, one more bell sprout, right? Yep, okay. I want to fight everybody in this gym just to get the experience. But once you guys have seen one battle, that's basically all of them. So I'm going to cut it here real quick. I'll be right back when I fight Erica. Alright guys, here we are back to fight Erica. I had to go out and heal up real quick because sadly, while I was battling the other gym members, Cass fainted because she got paralyzed and then leech seated by an Ivysaur. But anyway, here we are back now. And let's take on Erica. I hate how much of the gym leaders decide they have to talk before they just let you battle them. It takes up so much time that I don't even care about. So all we've got to fight these guys is Ember and Peck. So, ah, oh, sweet, yeah. Burn. Oh. Now, Victory Bell's burned. I'm just going to use a uh, Paralyze Heal on Cass right now. And call it good. Hyper Potion? Come on! You're joking. You're only the fourth gym and they're already using Hyper Potions? Whoops, whoops, that is not what I meant to do. So this should take it down, and then I think... No, why? 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 That's ridiculous, man. I guess I'll just use another Paralyze Heal. And... I better not get poisoned. Thank you. Gosh. No, I'm not changing Pokemon. I don't care what she sends out. I would like to stop messing up and going back in my bag, though. Alright, take out this Tangelo. One hit. There we go. 
Next is the Vile Plume. Now this one's gonna be a bit of a challenge. Cast leveled up again, so maybe it's not gonna be as big of a challenge as I'm hoping. Or er, not hoping, but expecting. And maybe we'll get lucky and burn her again, like we did with the victory belt. Or Yes! We burned her. It's gonna be a two-hit KO. I don't even care about the stun spore right now, honestly. Because Cass is gonna take this thing out, no problem. Full heal? Who cares? Goodbye. Bye. You're done. I win. I win. Yeah, you can see defeat. I don't... Uh... Ooh, Giga Drain. That's actually pretty good. Alright, well, we just beat Erica, guys. I'm going to cut it again because I want to go check something out real quick and I'm going to heal up. So, I will catch you guys at the game corner uh, to go into Team Rocket's base. So, I'll see you in a second. Alright guys, here we are at the game corner, about to take on Team Rocket's secret hideout. But first, I want to do something special. Now, you guys know that the past couple episodes, I was complaining about not having all my bases covered and needing a water type Pokemon. And I said I was looking for a tentacle. But because I can't find one yet, because I don't have Surf, I'm just going to do the next best thing and get a Vaporeon. Yes, that's right. You all know that there's an Eevee in Celadon City. I've already gotten it. I have nicknamed it Holly. Another song reference just like Maria. By the same band, actually. And I'm going to make Holly evolve into a Vaporeon. That is what I wanted to go check out. I went to the Celadon department store and bought a water stone. So let's just get this done. Now, the sad part is, it doesn't learn any water moves until level 52 when it learns Hydro Pump. But, it'll learn Bite at level 30, which will be useful when taking on the Saffron City Gym and when taking on Lavender Tower. But as of right now, whoops, I want, I'm going to teach it, it, uh, Water Pulse. Oh, there you go. Yes, a move should be deleted and replaced with Water Pulse. Let's just... Helping Hand is just, honestly, one of the worst moves. Alright, Holly, let's go. There we go. Now, we've got ourselves a Water Type. So let's just take on the Secret Base now. I'm... I am pleased with this. I know I said I wanted a uh, tentacle, but I am pleased with Vaporeon. Vaporeon is one of many evolutions, as you all know. I believe there are seven. Um, no, there's m more than seven. Yes, I'll change Pokemon real quick. I think there are eight evolutions. Eight. And... I lost my train of thought. Oh yes, yeah, so eight evolutions. Vaporeon is the health evolution, basically. Um, Vaporeon's highest, uh, stat is its health, and its second highest is special attack, which makes it 
a very good Pokemon to have. Oh, cool, I can run in here. And I can run into trainers in here as well. Hmm. If I show all of this, it's going to take up way too much time, just like uh, it did last episode when I was taking on Rock Tunnel. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I may have to cut it a third time in this episode, but I really would not like to do that. Yes. See, this is what we want. We want to get Raticate, and we want to get Bruce to evolve so close to evolving. So close. Let's see. I just, I want, I want him to evolve so badly. Because once Bruce evolves into a primate, like, the problems of him getting taken out in one hit will be solved because it'll take two hits for anybody to take him out now. Whoops. Escape rope, that's useful. Okay, let's go. This way? No, there's nobody to fight. Let's put Bruce up front. Because he will evolve whether or not he even fights at all in this battle. Just by being part of it for a second or two. Yep, but he has to come out right away. He has to come out. Uh, question is, who are we going to send in? We could send in Sandy. Oh, I mean, look at that. We just made Holly evolve, and already she's at 104 HP. I didn't even notice. I... I'll have to go back and look at the video because I want to see how much that jumped. But mm, I honestly, I just want to get Cast really overpowered right now because I want Cast to evolve soon. Uh, I would, I would, I would stutter, stumble over my words. I want Cast to evolve before the next gym. And if my memory is correct, the next gym should be Saffron City. And... Hmm. Yep, so Bruce is going to evolve. Yes, I'm going to switch into Butch here. And Saffron City gym is a pretty tough gym. Um, but if we have Holly going through it, if we, if we level Holly up enough and get cast to evolve before we have to take it on, then having, oh, hold on. Sorry, as usual, we have to take a moment of silence. Hmm, should I delete a move and make room for rage? I honestly, I don't like rage. I know rage is a move that, uh, it would make sense for a Pokemon like Primeape to learn and to know, but I don't like the idea of you have to let him get hit over and over in order to do more damage. But anyway, what I was saying was if we can get Holly leveled up enough to the point where she learns Bite and then level her up more after that, obviously. And if we can get Cast to Evolve, then we should be able to just... I guess I'll just Fear Swipe this guy under the water. Uh, or is it out of the water? I don't know. But, um, if we can get those two leveled up enough, and strong enough, and send in Holly to get her some experience, um, then that gym should be a breeze, is what I'm trying to say. I know I keep losing my train of thought here over and over, 
And uh, that's not what I'm trying to do. So I'm sorry, but... Oh, Holly. Holly doing the work. Yeah, let's switch out to Sandy. Tig. Come on. Yep. Oh man, we just gotta. Alright, yeah, you know what, guys? I think I'm running short on time. After this battle, guys, I'm gonna cut it one last time this episode, and then I will meet you back when we face Giovanni at the end. But. I want to make sure I get this done for you guys in this episode as well. Just like I said, we were going to get through Rock Tunnel last episode. Which I guess in reality means I should record all of it, but... The only way I would be able to get through all of this and keep it in the episode is if I sped it all up. But, I don't think that's something you guys want to see, so... Um, sorry guys, but once again, I'm going to cut it right here. I will meet you back when we are at the battle with Giovanni. So, see you in a second. Alright guys, here we are right in front of Giovanni. So, let's go take him on. I have Maria up front because I think... I think he starts out with like a gold bat or something. Not entirely sure if I'm remembering that correctly. But let's uh, go find out if we're right or wrong. Uh, it's going to be upsetting if he doesn't because I do know that he always has a Rhyhorn and a Kangaskhan. Oh! Nope, he starts out with an Onyx. I'm a genius, everybody. I'm a genius. Alright, so let's just send in Holly, uh, who is already at level 28 and packing so much health that she doesn't even know what to do with it. And her special attack has been doing massive damage recently. So... We'll be able to sweep the first two with Holly here, and then I think we'll switch into Bruce for that Kangaskhan. And then Giovanni will go down pretty easily, I'm thinking. Yep, let's switch into Bruce here. I'm feeling a low kick on this one. I'm thinking that Kangaskhan will get damaged more by a low kick than a Karate Chop. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Alrighty then. Alright. Please don't hurt me too bad. Didn't I tell you? I told you. I told all of you. I said it's gonna change from a one hit KO to a two hit KO. And look what just happened. <sighs> oh my gosh. That's just upsetting. That's alright. Holly's got this. Level 29, 119 health, this is amazing. Yeah, okay, give me the, okay, never mind. Yes, I picked up the Silph Scope. Excellent. So guys, I don't know what I'm at for time, I don't know if, uh, this would be a short episode, or maybe slightly longer. Um, although I guess my episodes haven't been consistent at all. Especially the uh, last couple. But, I'm going to cut this episode now. 
uh, for good this time. I'm not actually going to come back. And next episode, I will actually meet you back in Lavender City, where we was... Lavender City, Lavender Town, where we were supposed to start this one. So, yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. Catch you in the next one.